your hand in my hand. Especially when you are doing sugar ash. Gentlemen, I'm now at Kilo Inspection. This is Kilo Agro Aqua Nigeria Limited. Kilo Agro Aqua Nigeria Limited that I set up four years ago. So it has a Jessa in Ugo State. So we've got some buildings, and I intend to have teaching for you guys on water management especially those who are asking about the uh was asking about the ashing as to water when to use soda ash so you see as beautiful as this is when we started if you can go to back to the channel you will see when we started so we have solar so they are doing well are uh, using agro technology you see they are still supplying water so there's the solar for the bowl solar energy bowl 1.5 kg so you can see the point so it's still work in progress you can see we are supplying water so i've reached the smoke size all right so good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome again to goa fish farm and i'm back again with another video Compliment of the season to all our fans out there. I'm right in one of the farm, Kenoid Nigeria Limited, one of the farms that I set up. Uh, they are doing very fine, you can see. So I want to use this medium to explain the usages of uh, uh, soda ash and the usages of uh, 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 baking powder and even vinegar for water management. Because I've seen people have been asking me questions that when do you, how do you solve the issue of pH problems? So now, um, in this concurrently, due to the wet dark condition and change in the environment, we are having the change in the water component of the pond. So we want to now know what exactly is the pH of the farm. So once we're able to dictate what the pH is, we'll be able to know whether we are to use uh, soda ash to solve the problem or we are to use vinegar, or we are to use baking powder, or we are to use acid in solving the problem. Don't forget that for your pH, anything, the standard water level for your pH is 7, which is neutral. Anything you have from 6.5 to 7.5 is fine, is good for your fish. But anything below 6.5, that is acidic. And whenever you're having acidic results, it is expected that to solve this problem of making the water to be neutral. You are to use soda ash or you use a, 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 a baking powder so but if it is the result that you get is be, is above 7.5 up to 14 that means it is alkaline so if it's alkaline that means in order to solve the problem to become neutral you are to use vinegar or you even use any acidic chemical to make it neutral or you can use lemon juice to make it neutral so this morning now we'll be doing the empirical analysis and to us to know what exactly the so you have to first determine what is the ph for you to know what exactly is the solution to do so if you have listened to any video session of like people saying if your fishes are dying based on bad water go and pour soda ash in the pond that is a wrong teaching unless it is acidic you don't use soda ash so follow us through the process as we conduct the testing so these are testing kit for ph tester you can see there are various testers so this is the one we have now you can see they already make it if it's acidic you can see the number acidic test you say neutral is 7.0 you can see alkaline so this is the kit which we will use so we'll be taking sample of water No, not be more than five. Okay. So just three drop. Then no.
os. Así. So after about uh, two minutes, you can see now that it has changed color. You can see the color we have now. You can see. So now what you do is to place the color beside your chart, pH chart. If you look at this, you see that the result is around 6.0 and 6.6, .6, what we are having here. So that shows us that it is acidic but not that acidic because within the number we have the result we're having here shows us 6.6 .6, which is i you know what we want to do we say the best is 7.0 however if you are still having 6.5 close to 7.0 you are still good you, that means the effect side effect you'll be having on your fish will not be that bad so this now if i'm going to if i want to really make it to be 7.0 all i need to add it to this water is soda ash soda ash so we do not have the soda ash here so i will show you in the picture, a picture of it's like a white powder that we add to the water we mix it with the content of the water that we have in our bowl what we do is to every uh, 50 liters of water you use just a teaspoon so with that once you pour it inside the pond you leave it it will dissolve and that water take a sample of it and test it again and you see that the content of it will change and even sometimes you can use salt, some people to use salt, but then it's, uh, uh, it's whitish, it's, not, it's different from salt. So, but the best one to use for heat control it for uh, 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 acidity is the soda ash. But if the result you got, let's say it is, uh, it is uh, uh, alkaline, what you are going to use to get any acid, any acid, mix it with the water, for any acid chemical. Or we use vinegar, or we get a, 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 a lemon juice. We mix it with the water, and the water will become neutral. So you won't be having any mortality anymore. So this is the way. This is the way to solve the issue of water management in your pond. If you find this teaching very helpful and educative, make sure you click on that subscribe button, comment, like, and leave any question for us at the comment section. And if you want to reach out to us for your farm setup, for your education, for teaching, and even mentorship and guidance, you can reach out to us on 080-67-70651 or visit our website at www.goa-farm.com or reach out to us any on any of our social media and do Twitter, X, uh, Instagram, at GOA Farm. We will always respond to your question.